Welcome to Experiment 2, Calibration of a Pipette. We're going to be going through the procedure step by step, laying out how to do each of the individual steps. And I hope that you can watch along and complete the lab and we can do it together. So just to let you know, I have sat already for 10 or 15 minutes with my water. And uh, mine is uh, reverse osmosis tap water. So that's tap water that was filtered through a reverse osmosis system. Options include tap water, filtered tap water, or distilled water to do this lab. And you should find uh, very little, if any, difference between, and all of those are fine. And I'm aware of all the differences between them. Um, oh, I've got my procedure. I've got all my equipment, as uh, you've already seen from the intro video, and I'm ready to begin. So I'm going to be reading along from the procedure, and A, calibrating a plastic pipette to deliver a certain volume. There's a separate video just to watch about this as well. I've equilibrated my water, that's number one. I'm going to record the temperature of my water. So I'm gonna turn this, whoa, I'm gonna take off the right end of it, the correct end. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna hit mode button twice on this one, although some of you it just displays temperature I've seen. And then um, I'm gonna put it in the water and stir it until it stops moving. And since it was at the room temperature, it's actually not moving at all. But I'm gonna, yep. And for me, it's 20.4 degrees Celsius in my room. Give it a little shake, turn it off, and write that down. And I've got my data here, and I've got 20.4 degrees Celsius. And of course, we always write the tenths place. Now I'm going to need this as I go to get my calculations. I'm going to need my density of H2O at a specific temperature. And I've got the table here from experiment one. And it says that at 20.4 degrees Celsius, the density of water is 0 0.998120. And that's in grams per milliliter. And I'll put that away for now. There we go. And we'll go back to my other screen. There we go. And um, it says mark one of your three milliliter plastic pipettes with your initials. Um, I've got my initials on there, BM and using a permanent marker or a piece of tape. This is the pipette you will be calibrating. Take a picture of your marked pipette. Please do that. And now I'm on number five, condition the pipette with distilled water. I've got my waste beaker here. I'm going to suck a little bit of water up, take it all the way into my pipette. rinsing the entire thing with distilled water three times. That's always what conditioning is. Whether it's a pipette, whether it's a burette in another class, you're always rinsing three times with the solution you're going to put in there. I think that was three times. I'm not sure, so let's do it one more time just to make sure. Record the mass of a 100 milliliter beaker. Uh, 50 milliliter beaker would work as well here, but I will get my 100 milliliter beaker. I'm gonna put that in my water. Uh, I will now go to my other one. I've turned on my scale, I wait for it to say zero, and then I wait for the little circle to appear there, and then I will weigh it, or I'll take its mass actually. Wait for the circle to come back, that's 11.16 grams. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to uh, put in, so I'm going to put in two milliliters, put in another two, and then another two milliliters. And so I'm going to be doing it by subtraction from the previous one, uh, just to let you know. So now I'm going to deliver 2.00 milliliters. 
And the best way to do this is to get down, uh, let's see, I got my beaker right here. I'm going to look straight across at my 2.00 milliliter line. I'm going to get it right up to it. There we go. No air bubbles. Now I'm going to put it back on my scale, let it come to zero, circle, 12.89, and this time I will pin it so you can see me more closely up. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to do it again. I'm not emptying it, so I've still got my two milliliters in there, or whatever uh, it should be. So let's see. So then, right to the line. Tweeze it till all of it comes out. And then go back. Fourteen point five nine. Do it again. Again, looking straight across. That's the best way to do it. Because you're trying to get it right at that line. There you go. Oh, a little low. Good. Sixteen point three zero grams. All right. So that's all my data for my calibration attempt number one. And I've done step eight, it looks like, in the procedure. Empty the beaker into the waste, turn off my scale. And now let's figure out the mass of H2O delivered. That's going to be for this one, the 12.89 minus the 11.16. And to do that, I'm going to uh, get my calculator. which I always have handy, but not handy enough today. So let's see, 12.89 uh, minus 11.16, get 1.73. Now 14.59 minus 12.89 is 1.7. And it says 1.7, but I know there should be two decimal places because my two subtracting numbers have two decimal places. So I'm still going to leave that significant figure in there. Of course, when you put it into Microsoft Excel, that significant figure will disappear, which is fine. Uh, I know you have to put this in, sorry, into the Google Sheet or Excel. I know that will happen, but we still write it in our table like this. And then 16.3, and I don't need that last zero, minus 14.59. 1.71 grams. So a couple things I'll point out. One is I did a good job of being precise, meaning all three no these numbers are close together. So that's good. I was able to hit the same spot more or less each time. Now I'm going to get the average mass of HCL. So 1.73 plus 1.7 plus 1.71 divide by 3 I get 1.71 and I'm just going to go to the three sig figs that's what I should have here uh, that's grams and now to find my average milliliters I take my grams I'm going to 
use my density as a conversion factor. And that's going to give me milliliters. And so 1.71 divided by 0 0.998120. Keep all of those sig figs, please. And I get 1.71 milliliters, which makes sense because this number for the density is so close to one that there's really no difference. I mean, it goes from 1.71 to 1.713 and we round to three sig figs and we get 1.71. All right, so now, speaking of magic, is where the magic happens for this lab. Now we come back to this flow chart and we says, calibration of pipette, three measurements of the milliliters of H2O, we've just done that, is the average milliliters of H2 plus or minus 0 0.02 milliliters of 2.00? No, not even close. No, draw a mark on the pipette, on the pipette that position you think will be 2.00 milliliters, and then repeat. So we're stuck in this little cycle here, which is fine. This is the calibration procedure. So now, uh, let's stay organized. Uh, we'll now finish the procedure. It says um, we're now on number 12. Now you must decide. Decision point is your calibration good? Mine is not. So I'm going to go back to my pipette. I've got my pipette right here. Uh, it's got a little water on it. So I'm going to put it down right here. And my two milliliter line which is right here, is not, is giving me less. So I'm gonna draw the line higher up on the pipette. And let's see. I'm gonna draw it right there. I don't know. Oop, this looks like it's taking my line off there. Something happened. There we go. So that is a little higher than the 2.00 line. Uh, actually, it's about, you know, I don't know, four or five millimeters higher. So, uh, because it is 0.3 milliliters. And I guess it's almost halfway to the 2.5 mark on mine, uh, which I know the marks are hard to see, but that black mark is not. So that's good. And then repeat. So I now come back, I take the temperature. Throw in my calculator for a minute. Bring back the scale. There we go. And take the temperature. Oh, interesting. All right, it did go up. Oh, nope, it's, it's staying pretty stable. Now it's 19.7. So let's write that down. Density at 19.7. Yeah. Density at 19.7. So I go back to my lab number one. Here's my table again. I read for 19.7. Nineteen point seven zero point nine nine eight two six five and then I repeat. So and my one hundred milliliter beaker is there, there is not clean and dry. There's still a little water on it. You can clean and dry it out if you'd like, uh, but otherwise it's okay if the water is just in there. I just won't expect it to be 11.16 from before. Now it's 11.18. And you reweigh it every single time you take a measurement. So 
Now, I'm going to go to my new mark. And I'm going to read straight across on my new mark. Thirteen point oh three. Fourteen point eight eight. I'm starting to see how this is working here. Looks like we're again a little not two milliliters. Which is fine. Empty that into the waste. See what we got here. 13.03 minus 11.18. Now we're up to 1.85. Subtracting these two. One of the things we found, by the way, is that everybody's pipettes are a little different. I am encouraged again that my precision is good. I was able to get the, uh, the almost the same numbers. I can tell already that this is going to be 1.85 grams. It's actually going to be 1.8533 when I average them. But And uh, now let's do this. using the density for my new temperature. And I will not be surprised. 1.85 divided by 0.998265 equals 1.85 milliliters. So I was 0.29 milliliters away from two before. Now I'm 1.85 milliliters. So uh, I have farther to go, but about, like I've gotten about halfway there. So, now I will draw another line. About twice as far. Where's that line? Okay. Uh, It's almost at the 0.25 line, or the 2.5 line now, but now I've got a second line. Let's see how that one does. Uh, and repeat. So we're on number three now, calibration attempt. We are undaunted. We will record the temperature of our water again. Twenty point zero degrees Celsius. We will get the density at that temperature. 
20.0, And now we will do it again. Always reweigh your beaker. Oh, it just occurred to me that I'm putting my numbers in the wrong place. All right, I gotta go back and do that. This is gonna be my mass of beaker. This is gonna be my mass of beast plus H2O. And, I mean, just make sure that you get them in the tables, the Google sheet correctly. But for me, this seems to make more sense. There we go. Beaker. It's 11.1. 11.17. So cross out 11.17 grams now. Uh, do my two milliliters or my new line to see if I have two milliliters. Uh oh. Now, just by subtraction here, I can see I've got a little more than two milliliters. But we'll keep going. Because that's where my new line is. All right, so, and you know, it's just like so much chemistry, doing the same thing over and over again until you get it right. 13.26 minus 11.17, 2.09, minus 13.26, 2.08, Seventeen point three nine minus fifteen point three four two point oh five and remember don't put the units in the Google Sheet. I will have to add these up to get the average. Two point oh seven this time. And I'm just gonna plug it straight in. The 2.07 divided by my density, 2.07. So now I'm high, so you know, we'll just keep going until we get it right. So that's one point. So now I've got two lines on here. 2.07 and 1.86. So now uh, I am going to split the difference here. I'm going to do it, you know, probably a little closer to my second line. And this time I'll draw the line off to the side a little bit. And we'll see how that one goes. So this will be my third line. And we're running out of options here, meaning we've only got six to do, and I've already used three of them. 
That's fine. Empty. Keep going. Uh, this should be flat, so let's see. Is it that? That's just on enough. Okay. Ooh. So before I do that, let's do our temperature. This time it says it's 19.7. And density, did we have 19.7 before? Yep, 0.998265. All right, let's see if I can do my table correctly here. I'll put it in this time. Eleven point one seven grams. All right, be the one. Oh, there's a bubble floating up there. Put that out. Let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Hit that line again. One drop is about 0.04, so we're getting Within one drop, that's our our accuracy on this one. But we can do it. We can totally do it. Okay. Good. Move that scale over, dump it. Fortunately, we can uh, almost do the math in our head. This is 1.9. I still put it in the wrong place. Single cross outs. And I don't mind seeing your process at all here. You're seeing my process. All right, so now 1.99 grams. This one's going to be 15.15 minus 13.16. So, right, 1.99. And this one's going to be 2.01. And I think this worked out well. One point nine nine six seven, which rounds to two point zero zero grams, and two point zero zero divided by your density, point nine nine eight two six five two point zero zero milliliters. So after four attempts, I finally got one of them that was uh, within plus or minus point zero two. The way this flow chart reads, I have to do so. Is the average milliliters within plus or minus 0 0.02? Yes. 
do another one because we're going to make sure that it's reproducible. It wasn't a fluke. So we'll end up doing hopefully five. I think so far my measurements have been pretty reproducible, meaning pretty precise. So hopefully that'll happen this time as well. Empty my beaker, I already did it. Oh, way do my temperature. Excuse me, pipe that. It's going back and forth between 19.9 .9 and 20.0. It is spending more time on 20.0. Turn that up. So we'll go back to 20.0. I know that my density at 20.0 is 0 0.998203. All right, I'm gonna use this table correctly this time. Let's see how, there. Eleven point one nine. All right. So now I want to put the next number there. <laughs> Still may not do it, but all right. So now I go to my third line. Yay. All right, hopefully that'll be enough of a hint to put the next one next to it. Let's go with it. Don't put in the waste. Set this aside. Calculate our numbers again. Fingers crossed. So 13.22 minus 11.19. There we go. Two point oh three, two point oh one. Two point oh two. It's a tight tolerance, I will say. And then we know that we're gonna get two point oh two milliliters. So according to our spread our uh, flow chart. Is the calibration within plus or minus 0 0.02 milliliters of the previous calibration? Previous calibration was 2.00. Um, this is going to be uh, plus 2.02, .02, so yes. Now we are done. We have six good values. Those are going to be these three and the ones from our previous attempt. So that's calibration attempt number five, calibration attempt number four. Those are our six good values, which we'll do a standard deviation with later. And you're going to repeat this process uh, the exact same way uh, for one milliliter and 0 0.50 milliliters. Uh, I guess the only thing that's different is going to be the grad cylinder. For the grad cylinder, you do need only six measurements. And so uh, 
I will update the procedure to make sure it says you only need six. And those six measurements have to be plus or minus 0 0.50 milliliters. Is that good? No. Plus or minus 0 0.20 milliliters of 50. And so you'll do tables just like this. I know I didn't give you the tables. Um, you're going to create tables uh, just like this to mirror the ones that you've got for the pipettes. Meaning, and you have to get two of them plus or minus 0 0.20, not 0 0.02, 0 0.20 milliliters of 50 milliliters. And you can see I've done that part of the lab last semester already, and my line was a little higher than the line on my graduated cylinder. Hopefully this helps. Um, and this is the procedure part. There are more uh, videos for the calculations. Let me know if you have any questions.